morning you guys welcome back <laughs> to another vlog i'm gonna turn my music off um i as you guys just saw <laughs> made my green smoothie and uh, yeah good morning i was walking milo this morning it's literally so nice out you guys like i can't wait to go outside it's so sunny and warm I was walking Milo this morning at like 6 and it made me realize like I was up, the birds were chirping, like the sun was rising and it was so pretty and it made me want to get up at 6 again. I used to get up at 6 like every day over the summer and then like during the fall and obviously the winter like I just, there's no need for me to get up when it's pitch black outside. Like I had nowhere to go, <laughs> nothing to do but now that it's like sunny and nice, I want to get up early and enjoy the day and like get outside and like go for a long walk and stuff when it's so i don't know when it's like nice and quiet but yeah i have a busy day today and i can't wait to bring you guys along for the ride this green juice smoothie i put it in my blender with some coconut water because coconut water is super hydrating but also um since it is like just vegetables i would put it through my juicer but i've been really liking it in the blender for some reason it just tastes i don't know it's so good and with the coconut water it's super hydrating i had one yesterday and i just felt so good for the rest of the day so i'm gonna start my mornings off with this green juice every single day i did cucumber celery spinach cilantro half of a lemon ginger and coconut water so it's super simple i just threw it all in my blender blended it up and it's like obviously not thick at all like it's just it tastes like a green juice it's not like i swear i can't tell the difference between when i juice them and when i put it in the blender so yeah i'm gonna make a matcha though and i, I need to show you guys my matcha recipe because i have perfected the matcha that's another thing that i've been switching into my routine drinking more matcha because i have been dealing with like a lot of anxiety and like stress over the past few months and i just was finding that coffee was not helping it and it was doing like worse things for my body and i'm really trying to like heal myself and so i'm like being very like conscious of the things that i'm consuming and just like my routines and stuff so i switched out coffee for a little bit i've been feeling so good so i'm gonna make my matcha with you guys this is like my highlight of my day okay so this is all that you're gonna need some almond milk it this almond milk is key it's the unsweetened vanilla milk it's my favorite it makes the matcha just like so good i swear it makes the whole entire thing and i love the ingredients you have the almond milk and this is the matcha that i've been so obsessed with lately it's the peak tea sun goddess matcha sticks and it's really cool because they are individual there's little like individual packets and you can bring them with you like on the go and stuff and i don't even think you need to mix it with milk i think you can literally just pour it into water and then like mix it up while you're on the go while you're on the go it's really convenient um, this isn't sponsored. I just really love this brand, but if they do want to work with me <laughs> I would be down because I am so obsessed with the matcha. I actually also got Two other teas. I'll show you guys while we're at it. I got the black tea, which is um, a probiotic prebiotic it's good for your gut health and I need to try this. I haven't tried it yet and I also got this green tea right here, which is probiotic prebiotic and immune support so I'm excited to try these. I'm already obsessed with the matcha. Emma got me on this because she has been drinking this for a while. So what I do is I turn on my little tea kettle and I have a special matcha bowl that I keep underneath here. This always happens to me. The matcha like spills everywhere. <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna add a little dash of water to the matcha just so we can mix it I take my little matcha whisk 
Okay, so I mixed up the matcha and I just pour it into this little frothing container. And then I add my almond milk. And technically, you could just put the matcha powder in with the almond milk and then I'm gonna froth it anyway, but I like to use my matcha whisk because I feel like it helps the matcha like really break down and it's not like chunky or anything, but yeah, that's just like a little extra step that I do. And then I use this handheld frother that I got on Amazon and froth it all together. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> the matcha is done. This has been my favorite cup out of all of the glasses that I own. I've been using this one right here every single day this week, and I'm just so obsessed with it, my little keep cup. I love this thing. So I'm going to add some ice, and then... Like, look at that, you guys. And then for the finishing touch, I always, always, always add cinnamon. And if you're out and ordering matcha, ask the barista to add a little bit of cinnamon on top because it really is so good. This is my favorite. I like to add a lot. <laughs> okay, you guys. Taste test. <laughs> Oh my god. This literally is so good. Like, I have no words. You need to try this. Get the almond milk that I showed you guys. I feel like you could go on their website and type in like your zip code and see stores that have it near you, but I get mine at Whole Foods. And you need to make matcha with the vanilla almond milk. Add a little bit of cinnamon. Tag me on your Instagram story. I've already gotten tagged a few times because I posted like a tutorial yesterday of how I make it and a few of you guys have made my matcha and it makes me so happy and you even said that it was so good. So you guys got to try. Oh, it's so good. But I'm going to finish my greenie and <laughs> my mom used to call her green juices like when she would make them for us at home, she'd call it her greenie. So I'm going to finish my greenie and I need to get ready for the day. I'm gonna do my meditation, journal, and do all of that, um, which I am gonna do off camera, <laughs> but yeah, I haven't done that stuff today. And I need to do it. Usually I try to do it like before I get out of bed, but this morning I was like, gotta get up, gotta hydrate. Like, I really wanted to make my smoothie and my matcha. I was really excited for it. So that's what I did. Also, I have to figure out mental note to myself. I need to email this company because I ordered something online and the wrong order got shipped to me. Like somebody else's order came. And so I have no idea where my order is now. And I'm really sad because I was really excited to get my package, but it's okay. And I also got a few new bikinis i just want to show you guys because i'm about to go put all this stuff away like the boxes i opened up and i got a few cute things i ordered some bikinis from heavy manners this one's really cute it's like neon orange with little flowers yeah this is a bikini that you don't wear in front of your dad And then also got, oh, this one's really, really cute. Ties in the front. I got one of these. Little front tied bikini with little flowers. Little pink, purple, yellow flowers. And these bottoms, which have a little bit more coverage. They're still cheeky, but they're not like full on thong. And I got a few candles also from The Coop, New York. This one smells so good. It's called Date Night, and then this one is Loft Views. Oh, I can't wait to burn these. Like, they, those candles are my fave. And last but not least, I got some cowgirl boots. So, yeah. I'm going to do a little workout before I get the day started. 
Um, my bra is from Aloe, and my shorts are from Year of Ours. Legit, Year of Ours is my favorite workout brand ever. They literally have like the best quality clothes. They fit so well, and I just love um, that. I don't know. I just feel like they really suck you in. They don't fall while you're working out. They have really cute sets. So I know I've talked about them so much, but I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Hi, guys. <laughs> I made another matcha. I'm actually heading out right now. I need to go to my laser appointment, but I'm wearing this cute set from Heavy Manners. And I just took this out of like my summer clothes bin. I just love the color and I thought it was very fitting for today because it's such a nice day out and I just wanted to be cozy so yeah I really have to leave though but I just wanted to say hi give you guys a little outfit of the day let's go hi guys I'm just leaving my laser appointment I go to Lux Beauty Lounge it's like right outside of Boston every time I post on my story I always get so many questions about like laser which treatments I do like if it hurts and all that stuff so um, I do my armpits my stomach Brazilian and my legs and it's so worth it like it's definitely a really great investment just because you literally never have to shave ever again and for me like I have really fair skin and dark hair so you can like see my hair and like one of my biggest insecurities when I was younger was the hair on my stomach because like normal people just had like peach fuzz but mine was always so dark and I was really self-conscious about it growing up so um yeah it's just really nice like not having to worry about it like especially being in a bikini and just like not having to worry about shaving and stuff like that because I would get the worst ingrown hairs ever and they would hurt so bad and now I don't get any ingrown hairs anymore and I can like take a I love taking a cold shower too in the morning it like wakes me up and I can take a cold shower and not have to worry about like my leg hair growing from the cold water and stuff like that so and I feel like in the beginning it hurt more than it does now because I think I've been going for I've had like eight sessions and at the place that I go to we do 12 sessions but in the beginning it felt it just was like felt like pinching um, but now it literally doesn't hurt anymore so yeah that is my experience with laser I really like it I just love not having to shave and like having ingrown hairs I used to get them so bad and they would hurt and now like I don't have to worry and I'm just so excited for summer because this will be my first summer with laser so I just feel like it'll make me so much more confident in the summertime but yeah I don't know what music to listen to right now because I've been really liking actually I have to get on a call um, I have to get on the call in five minutes. <laughs> so I don't think I have enough time to put on music. Also, you guys, I brought this matcha with me. I can't tell if it's like... Still good. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna go drive home now, but I'll see you guys when I get there. Um, I'm gonna get ready to go out to dinner. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. I will link all the products that I use down below, but I'm gonna listen to music, so I'm just gonna get to it, but yeah, I'll link everything that I use so you guys can check it out if you want.
Um, I forgot to vlog at dinner and I forgot to show you guys my outfit and yeah, I'm really sad, but um, I'll give you guys an overview of the night. I had a reservation tonight for dinner at, what was that place called? Select Oyster Bar, that's what it's called. And this is the outfit that I wore, it was really cute. I got salmon, oysters, mussels, like the food there was so good. And I met a subscriber, Hannah. She was visiting from California and I got to meet her and she's so sweet. So if you're watching this, it was so nice to meet you. But that is what went on tonight. I am doing some laundry right now and I'm about to go take off my makeup and go to bed. It's 11 o'clock. I have a workout tomorrow morning at 10, so I wanna get to bed so I can get up and do all my stuff and feel like refreshed and not like rushed before my Saturday workout. But I'm gonna vlog this weekend. I'm gonna do a weekend vlog and I'm really excited because the weather in Boston is supposed to be so nice. It's gonna be 75 degrees tomorrow, so. I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to vlog but I hope that you guys enjoyed this little day in my life and yeah I love you subscribe follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys next time bye